Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Ipivo Kaleido R7 digital photo frame. Now before I kick off this review I should just mention that I'm recording this with the Sanyo Zacti VPC FH1 camcorder rather than my regular camcorder give you an idea of the quality that you can get from the FH1. So back to the review, as I say this is a 7 inch uh, digital photo frame from Ipivo. Let's take a look and see what you get inside the, the packaging. Now first of all you're presented with uh, a CD containing some iStage software. This works with both uh, Windows PCs or Mac OS 10.5 or higher. We also get a quick start guide. Talks you through getting the uh, frame up and running, installing the software etc. Using the remote. So nice that you get some printed details with the device and then under this front flaps very nicely packaged you get the frame itself which I'm going to come back to in a short while let's just give you a quick glimpse of it though wonderful looking device this is the V piece this is the uh, Kaleido R7 so we'll come back to that in a short while we also get in the bottom of the box here a small remote control for uh, flicking through your photos and switching between the various modes and you also get in here the power adapter for the unit only comes with a two prong power adapter so you're going to need a shaver type plug for the UK to convert that into a three pin plug let's get this uh, R7 plugged in and then I can show you exactly how it performs. So this is the R7 switched on, it's a 7 inch display and it's a 16.9 widescreen format display and the resolution is 800 by 480 very nice quality, you'll see it in action in a moment and it uh, is actually rated at 350 CDM brightness so it does deliver wonderfully composed photos with great detail and great contrast also worth mentioning is that this does offer wireless streaming so it has got Wi-Fi built in um, and you can stream from the likes of Picasa, Flickr and Facebook. This screen actually tilts so you have got a, a tilt mechanism built into the screen so you can get a good viewing angle on it and it also pivots as well so if you're wanting to look at a um, portrait uh, photo then you can rotate it 90 degrees and as you can see there the menus automatically sense that I've rotated it and it's correctly orientated so let's move that back round into the landscape position give you a quick tour around the frame along the bottom edge here you've got touch sensitive controls for the menu and navigating the uh, the, the menus etc uh, flicking backwards and forwards between your photos playing and pausing and also putting the unit into standby. On this side of the display we've got an actual physical uh, power on off switch. Round the back of the display we've got a connection for USB and that's obviously for uh, getting uh, pictures onto the internal memory because this does have 512 megabytes of memory built in. We've also got a normal USB port here and that's for putting in things like flash memory sticks, uh, you know, the little USB stick so that you can actually run photo slideshows from a stick. And then round this side of the device we've got the memory card slot and the memory card slot supports MMC, memory stick, SD or SDHC memory cards. The remote it comes with is very handy, allows you to, um, to, to use the... Uh, the frame from a distance and to switch between photos and uh, I'm just going to show you just quickly this menu system as well it's uh, very very easy to navigate here we've got live channels which I can go into to uh, stream content I haven't actually got anything to stream to show you but it's very very easy to set up using that iStage software we've got my gallery 
which allows me to uh, again stream content or to uh, show uh, slideshows from my computer that's connected via Wi-Fi. Uh, there's also a card and memory selection which will display pictures that are stored on the uh, internal memory and then last but not least we've got settings which I'm going to show you first. Now in the settings I can set up a wireless network I can pair it with my iStage software that I've installed on my Mac or PC. I've got playback options, uh, shortcut keys to my channels that I've set up online, language, date and time, automatic standby so it'll switch off after a certain amount of time, sound effects, screen brightness, device information, I can update the firmware, reset or reformat the internal memory. So let's show you some photos playing back now so you can get an idea of the quality of this device. Okay, well I've put a memory card in the side of the unit now. This is an SD card. And then using the um, navigation buttons down here, I'm going to select OK to go into card and memory. It's worth noting that on this display, here I can select internal memory, the memory card slot or the USB flash uh, disk drive, which is that USB connection on the back that I showed you earlier, now this one's actually greyed out because there's nothing plugged in. So if I remove the memory card, it actually greys this one out as well. So it'll only let you select uh, the particular memory that is accessible at the time. So let's click OK. And then go into the memory card. And then here I've got a gallery of the images that are on the memory card. Let's select OK and that sets the slideshow playing. Now this is picking up the settings that I've actually already set into the frame. I've set it to do this transition where it wipes from the center outwards. There are lots to choose from. I just chose that one for this particular example. I've also set the interval to uh, five seconds. So it changes the photo every five seconds. You can set it, I think, for up to a whole day between transitions. So you just get a different photo every day, which is rather nice. The quality of the photos displayed is absolutely awesome. I'm very impressed with the build quality of the frame, the screen quality. I think the 800 by 480 resolution that's been squeezed into this 7 inch widescreen format really does help deliver great detail from your photos. The styling also with this rotating uh, pivoting screen where you can pivot it round to uh, portrait mode uh, really will make it a talking point with friends and family. Now the R7 is hard to find in the UK, but you can, if you shop around, find it for around about £129. The US gets a slightly better deal at $150. This is a very, very good quality frame, uh, certainly one that should be on your shopping list when you're considering buying such a device. Rather than those mainstream devices from the likes of Kodak or Sony, why not try something a little bit different? The styling certainly speaks for itself and the quality of the screen I'm sure you won't be disappointed with. If you want full details then you can check it out on ipvo.com. Well this has been my review of the Ipivo Kaleido R7 digital photo frame. Come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by ProPorter.com who design and manufacture a whole host of accessories for your mobile devices including PDAs and smartphones, MP3 players and iPods, laptops, GPS devices and gaming units.